speak. Like, I can see this as a cartoon on TV at the movie theater. Now, this is my questions about ruining Christmas. Okay, go for it. All right. Now, Santa Claus has given up. Yep. Uh, because we've kind of given up on him. And yep. I looked at this, and I'm reading all the details in the Kickstarter. I was like, are they kind of re referencing religion in a sense that, you know, some of us have kind of given up on God, so to speak, and because our prayers aren't being answered and maybe God's given up on us. I was like, is it a weird coincidence or am I reaching? No, I you're not. I don't think, no, you're not reaching at all. I kind of touch on some of this, these kind of philosophies with even in Niobe, it's like the concept of worship, right? Mm -hmm. if, you, if you have a saint or a god or god, you know, depending on your beliefs or whatever, the more power, you, you know, or modern day prophets, or, you know, you can think of, you know, like to me, like Bob Marley is, uh, is a prophet, you know, the more you kind of give love and your spirit to your belief, whatever that is, the more they are, they probably feed off that energy and feel that energy and give love back. And mm. so, and, you know, and what comes first, you know? Um, so for me, philosophically, the concept of, you know, it, it, even though it's an irreverent tale, you can still take that same kind of um, uh, philosophy or, or concept into Santa, Saint Nicholas. You know, if you've been good, you are rewarded mm. um, with a with a gift, and if you've been a brat, you you haven't been. And then what? And and has has have those concepts, you know, just been lost? You know, and obviously now you look at twenty twenty, and you look at how polarized the world is, um, and the lack of empathy for a mm. lot of people. Um, that that is really what this is. The under underneath all the absurdity of religion, <laughs> you know, there are you know there are layers and there is there are going to be depths to the story. So you 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 come in for the oh the mistletoe, you know, the frosties frostbite condoms and uh, and the craziness and all the rest of it. Like oh I'm so irreverent and I love irreverent shit. Yeah I'm in. Oh I'm so irreverent. I'm so irreverent. <laughs> you know, like everyone loves to feel like you know and then it's like it's also then my goal is to then go okay then wake the fuck up and, exactly and sometimes we all need that slap in the face no. to wake up now you i'm know. i like the fact that in the trailer it said that this comic book is covid free and karen free like, <laughs> <laughs> then y'all have face masks and the uh perks and you have condoms and i was like we're My here mind. for your health, you know, safety first, <laughs> you know, we're here to protect you. My mind is warped as it is. So I was like, is COVID coochie a thing? So they got to protect us against it? Well, I was like, you know, you know, when you're young and you have a dance and all you can do is grind when you're, you know, like, we're just, you know, so it's like, you can't, we can't kiss anymore because of COVID, but maybe we can have a grind, you know. And then there's the mistletoe and the mistletoe panties. And I was like, this is before COVID, you got to think like, we thought of this, some of these concepts a while ago. Mm -hmm. And we were like, um, these funny taglines, like you never forget your first kiss, you know? Um, and, uh, and, and so what we have at the North Pole, or the pole, we just call it the pole, North, South, whatever. So the pole, there is this character called Frosty. And Frosty on the outside is very much like Willy Wonka. He's like, okay, everybody, here's, get the candy, get the stuff. He's, <laughs> you know, he sells the merch. But really, he's from kind of prohibition times. He's like a gangster. Oh, man. And if you smoke a Frosty's bong, you're meant to invoke the spirit of Frosty. It's like, don't do the Ouija board. Don't <laughs> look into the mirror. You know, you might get the real Frosty, right? Just Frosty. And then he has a rival called Big Love. And Big Love is this tiny little black gnome with this giant beard that barely says a word. And he's like the Snuggleworth to the Willy Wonka. <laughs> so we've got these rival, these rival gang type factions with the gnomes and the snowmen. I mean, it's, it's really wacky and wild and, 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 and fun. You know, their local hangout spot is Elves, 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 the local strip club. 
Yeah. <laughs> see, now I see why this is not for kids. Yes, it's <laughs> not for kids. And that's what got me really concerned because I was like, you know, look, if our show was on the air or we were like super freaking minted, I was like, oh, okay, no one's going to be like, ah, ah, I, I thought these were for, these people were all about the children and fuck these guys, you know. And it's like, yeah, I, how do you make children? You know, like I'm a three dimensional person. <laughs> This comic is for children here. The Untamed, where you first meet Naomi, that's a very dark story and it shouldn't be read for kids. And the Naomi Shears life is, mm-hmm. is for kids. Naomi Shears' death is a little older. Ruining Christmas is, you know, is not for kids. I do kids' books for three to five year olds, you know, so you, you're, we're, we're a publishing company. <laughs> so, exactly. Um, but it, but it, it was scary to be honest, Arthur. It was like, um, I know I'm going to upset some folks that go, but I thought you, you have a semi Afro. I thought you were spiritual, you know, and uh, this doesn't feel like that. So I, you know, but, but then some folks honestly have been like, Oh my God, this is great. And a lot of folks. So I think the, the more people that have seen it, that have gone. And also, I'm kind of at this point where I'm like, we've got to be able to laugh at the absurdity of 2020 and you ourselves. Really you really do. And what better way than some Christmas elves, <laughs> some gangster snowmen?